What's going on guys, I'm Andrew and today we're gonna to be looking at a one bedroom, one bath couples travel trailer. And for me, when it comes to like my favorite layout, it's always been the front kitchen or possibly the rear bath because I'm taller, I'm a little bit bigger, but they kind of shocked me with this one. This is the new 2024 Forest River Wildwood Platinum, model number 28 FKG. This is a front kitchen layout can comfortably sleep just a couple, two. You have two air conditioners, tankless water heater, and it has several really great features. But in my previous video, I talked about the size of this one. How uh, this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,200 pounds at 38 feet length. This little beast comes in at 32 feet, two inches long, with a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,000 200 pounds so it is on the heavier side don't let looks fool you but let's get inside i'm excited to show this thing to you the front kitchen layout has always been my favorite design my overall favorite layout for the bathroom because i'm taller has always been the rear bath because i feel like it gives me the most changing room this thing showed up and of course it's late in the year most of you guys have probably already seen it but i'm just shocked by it tons of kitchen counter space i love the separation this would be your view if maybe you're watching tv we can possibly mount maybe a 50 inch right over here so i talk a lot about maybe waste of space i feel like they've done a great job with not designating a certain area for the table giving you you know this breakfast nook really does maximize the amount of space you have absolutely beautiful ceiling height inside the rv is right at 78 inches high your slide right over here of course you're not gonna have to worry about that you're not really standing in it but it is in fact five foot ten let's look at our countertops the countertops are what i call a press membrane countertop that's a hard heated plastic that is wrapped over that material does a good job if it ever comes in contact with water right over here by the sink. Your sink is a two piece plastic sink of graded residential sprayer with the drain rack. That's a good place for a coffee pot, maybe a Keurig right over here. Just a lot of storage space though. Counter space and storage space. I'm gonna show you the pantry in just a second. This is a pretty much your standard size Furion oven low profile hood vent pretty much your standard size theory on microwave outside this is your outdoor camp kitchen this is your view from the kitchen though i love the doorways how they give you the pocket style i've heard several people mention that maybe changing the color of the door to match the color of the paneling would be better this is your pantry though lots of storage on board dimensions are probably right at four feet in depth 24 inches across of course five foot ten because that's the slide box height 12 volt fridge this does not require an inverter now so with with everything being 12 volt that's nice there is of course also a solar panel on the roof 200 watt solar panel found on the roof that keeps everything charged everything nice and running let's make our way towards the entrance where there are some controls there and look at this pretty cool little breakfast nook area. So once you come inside the camper, that's a nice transition here where you can maybe sit down, take off your shoes. All the controls are located right over here also. You got your Suburban 60,000 BT water heater. Some of the controls there, your dimmer switch for all of your lights, slide operation and light, you know, of course your awning operation. This is the smart charger for that solar panel fan on the roof. I love it. It's perfect to me. A lot of the customers that pass through this area here are looking for something to honestly to live in. Because a lot of guys going through the area are here for work. We are a small town. This seems to be a very popular layout with customers. You know, having the king size bed, only for two, big bathroom, plus washer and dryer connections. This is nice. Storage over here. Maybe you can use this for a desk. This would honestly be what I call a catch all where I come in and just throw everything at the end of the day. This would be an additional closet or you can outfit it with a stackable washer and dryer. 
Second air conditioner is right here. This is a 13.5, but notice the vents also here. The front air conditioner is a 15K, but it is also ducked all the way throughout the RV. Let's look at this. This is the new Versa Up system. I call it the bed scruncher. The controls are located right over here for a purpose. So when it comes to the warranty on this mechanism, you cannot be lying in the bed and operate this system. It will apparently overload, overload it. So that's why the controls are located way over here, but it's still very nice. It maximizes all that additional space for you to walk, maybe even the change. You also have additional storage under the bed. Let's see if I can't lift this up for you and give you a little peek. Not too bad. But the bathroom is very nice. Lots of changing room. The rear bathroom, in my opinion, give you all the changing room that you're really wanting for, you know, for larger guys like myself. Plus that additional entrance from the outside is very nice to have. Let's see if I can give you a better angle. The entrance from the outside is nice too. If maybe you're having some sort of cookout on the outside. That's a plastic foot flush toilet. Still those pressed membrane countertops. 78 inch ceiling height. You've got probably a 12 inch step up to get into the shower. Look at your linen closet. And this is pretty cool. Look at the space there. So outside there's a huge store space out here. There's your shower. Of course, it's not going to stay open for me. So let me try this. Maybe you guys can see it better there. I do apologize. It's not wanting to really work with me right now. Very big bathroom though. Heck. There's only one way to really show you. I am 6'2", so you are kind of in the ceiling right there in the dome. But look at all the additional room. It's huge. So let's look at the sales price. Big difference from the one you guys saw in the previous video, but this one, here's the MSRP. Maybe you can pause it and read it here. So it's 1 December 2023, MSRP, $57,019.80. Of course, there's the sales price. If you're not really wanting to see anything on the outside, go ahead and leave me a couple of thumbs up. I greatly do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Let's make our way out here. There's several things to show you here that are nice. A lot of storage. For this to have a front kitchen, I wasn't really expecting to have the outdoor camp kitchen plus the additional storage like this. Huge amount of storage here plus on the back. This is your outdoor camp kitchen. It does hook to the propane and that little black puck. As a spray port, pretty cool place maybe to set up a table once you're cooking, clean your fish, maybe spray the dog or something like that. Everchill miniature fridge. This does not work while you're in transportation. You must be plugged in. The RV must be plugged in for this one to work. So the coach is going to be stabilized from two sets of electric jacks. Here's the front. These will only go down to the fill about maybe five to ten pounds of pressure before they completely cut off. That's exactly what they're designed to do. We have a fully enclosed underbelly. Step above steps. These fold inside the door. You also have the friction hinge as well as the window. So let's look at the back storage area. This is what's nice to me. You also have, of course, about a 15 foot awning, outdoor speakers, TV connections over here as well. But take a look at this. This is kind of cool. At first, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. There's a freaking tire right there, but it's not hard. <laughs> Excuse my language. It's not hard to lower it down. It's very, very easy to do, I promise. But this opens up. I'm a little uncertain about what they're thinking, but I kind of like it. But there are room, of course, for improvements. I'm guessing they're wanting you to place a bicycle here, but the bikes that I ride, I feel like they're gonna be too big just for this, but I can utilize those hooks for something else. It's huge. You also have 110 outlets back here. Maybe if you have a golf cart, you know, you can pull up at night. Good place to maybe keep your all of your charging stuff, your, your cart. 
let's come around so rack and pinion slide the camper of course also comes with a 50 amp power cord about 25 feet in length this is going to be your city water connections right over here so you have city water connection and black tank flush and speaking of sewer you're going to have two different ones this is your pretty much for your bathroom you have gray and of course black you also have an additional one way up here it is prepped to receive maybe some slide toppers i do recommend those but this is your second sewer connection here so if you are maybe having a, a, a washer and dryer installed this is where the water will be coming from so just be cautious of that so you do in fact have two on board this one coming only from the washing machine and of course here on the front two 20 pound propane tanks the electric jack battery disconnect switch and of course when it's purchased there will be a battery housing there pretty cool little coach but man it packs a lot of punch for a very small tiny camper what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below come see me